Your, I guess your first practice in the regular jersey and all that, how did it go? How did it feel? Great. Uh, yeah, it's uh, nice to get back out there again. Um, had a couple uh, practices there with the red jersey. Um, it's nice to get uh, up to speed again without uh, taking too much contact, but was able to get uh, that out of the way today and take that next step forward, and it felt good. So. How did you get, uh, yeah, I was just going to say, how did you get hurt? Uh, it was just kind of an awkward play in practice. Uh, I just bumped it a little bit. Um, and just wanted to be precautionary, um, especially with what uh, I've done with my shoulder in the past. Uh, you want to be safe in that. And um, the team kind of was very helpful um, for myself in uh, just making sure that everything was good to go before I was coming back. And uh, just took a quick week off, and uh, now we're ready to go again. So uh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I want to be uh, precautionary, but um, not too worried about it. And that uh, that week off kind of helped uh, clear things up um, and make sure that my body's ready to go and uh, my mind has the confidence uh, in my body. So, you do want to play against <laughs> obviously, um, no, yeah, I've played with him. Uh, you got to be 100%. Uh, he's a pretty good player, so. Uh, yeah, I've played, uh, played with and against Connor for a long time. Um, it's going to be nice uh, if I get in tomorrow. It would be nice to, uh, nice to be, be there. Than <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe. Uh, <laughs> did you think you were better than him? I don't know about think I was better than him. It, uh, he was pretty special from a young age. Um, I remember playing Timbits against him, and uh, he always knew what color, uh, what color Newmarket Redmond jersey he, uh, he was on. So. It was uh, it was fun watching him at such a young age, and then being able to play with him. The, uh, you know, they're in a bit of a skid here. It's five in a row. They're not scoring a lot of goals. Um, over the years, you've been in similar skids. You know how desperate teams get when that starts to happen. So, how do you view them as an opponent? And they're struggling, but they can also be dangerous. Yeah, I mean, I think you'd, you'd be pretty stupid to uh, to take a night easy on these guys um, just by looking at their lineup and looking at what they're capable of doing. Um, you got to show up every night or else uh, there'll be some nice uh, TSN highlights on you the next morning. So um, you, you want to come out hard against these guys. You know, we had some good battles last year against them that uh, I feel like really gave our team some confidence against a good opponent. So I think we're just looking to do the same, um, come out against a good team that uh, can just give us a little more confidence going forward in, in how our game works and how it can work against uh, different opponents. Can the team take anything out of that three-game set here last year where you guys were probably the best hockey player? Or was that too long? Yeah, I mean, the team's different. Um, and you, you don't really think about the previous years too much. I mean, you look at how last year ended, so it's kind of easy to think, oh, everything we, we learned last year was garbage. It didn't work out. But um, I think every player um, learns something. Um, and whether it's a team observation that, that we're trying to learn from something from last year, or not, um, might show up in the clips in the video that we watch, so we can learn from it that way. But uh, you know, I think the team changes so much from year to year that you try to learn new things every year. And some stuff that you learned last year about your team might not uh, fit the script for your team this year. So I think you try to learn um, from every opportunity you get. And tomorrow's going to be just the same as, uh, I mean, as important as as those three games that we had last year against them. Do you miss playing teams nine times? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, it was a nice staying in Canada, but uh, yeah, it'll be. It's definitely fun getting to those rinks that we haven't been in in, uh, in a while. Yeah. Uh, I know it's not your decision, but do you feel like you're ready to go? Yeah, practice felt good today. Um, you know, it's up to them to make that decision, but uh, I felt pretty good out there. So uh, if they throw me in, I, I won't be too, uh, or I won't be incompetent or doubtful. I guess. Um, so whatever happens, happens. But uh, I feel good to go. Yeah, I think just precautionary. Um, like I said before, you, you always want to be confident in yourself um, as well as confident in your body. And I think that all kind of comes together. So if I didn't feel great, if I was worried about getting hurt or scared about pain, um, I probably wouldn't play my best. So um, I just feel confident in where our trainers have been able to get me to. And uh, Today's practice gave me just a little, a little more confidence, and every day that goes by, I feel a little bit better. So, you played with and against so many elite players. Like, what is it that separates the McDavid's and the Matthews from the other 750 players in the NHL? It's a tough one. All the hockey dads are going to be listening to this answer. <laughs> no, but I, I think it's just, it's a bunch of things. I mean, I don't think, I mean, not with guys that I've played with, but all the all stars. Um, 
there's none that really take a day off. I think they're always in here doing the right stuff. Um, and I'm not saying the other guys aren't aren't doing their stuff every day, but it's just it's such a religion almost to these top guys that uh, they come in, they aren't feeling good, they didn't have a good game last night. They're still doing every single thing they do after they had a hat trick the night before. It's uh, it's just about consistency, I think, with those guys, and that's why they're such a good example, I think, to the other guys because it's it's every day you see it, and you were able to see what they were able to do the night before or whatever, um, and how they react to that. So it kind of kind of pushes everyone else around them. To be better. Ah, I don't know. Uh, we're getting into the nitty pickies now, but uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, Connor's speed is so dangerous. Um, I think of Connor as maybe a little more one-on-one -on -one danger um, than Leon, but I think Leon's passing and just ability to. Get it on guys' tapes makes them just as dangerous. So uh, it'd be easier, I guess, if they were the same player and you only had to think about one style of play to defend. But uh, they definitely have their own uh, um, knickknacks, I guess, that they're they're better at. I don't know. I don't know how much I'll be playing against the first line. So uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe give that to uh, to Mo and Bros. But uh, we'll see. I mean, it's always fun getting out against those guys and being able to kind of test yourself.